You see this, this blue thingy? I think it looks like a glow. Hey there, I hope you're doing all right. And today I got another exciting glow tutorial for you in which we are gonna create the glow outline effect. It is a super fun effect which can be applied to basically any portrait photo. So are you ready? I definitely am. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so here we are in Affinity Photo and first thing to make all the glows work better is darken the image a little bit. So I'm gonna go to my adjustment layers and create an exposure adjustment layer and reduce the exposure just a bit so that we get a nicer glow in the end. Of course, we can always go back into our exposure adjustment later, uh, layer later. Now, next thing, let's grab a pen tool and let's start tracing our subject. So we're just gonna make a very nice, um, yeah, let's say outline of our subject and you want to be pretty accurate actually. You don't have to be too accurate, but um, yeah, just this just depends on how thick your outline will be, your glow line. And if you go for a thicker glow line, obviously, um, yeah, you can be a little less careful with this because you will hide most of it with your glow line. All right, so there we go. Now the benefit of doing this with the pen tool is that we can always adjust our curve later. Now we want to give this thing a nice stroke, so I'm gonna choose white as a foreground color and I'm gonna increase my stroke quite a bit to let's say seven points. And what I just mentioned, if you go for a thicker outline, then you, yeah, don't have to be so careful. I like to keep it rather small, so let's go for eight or seven points. Now the next step is going to make it pretty easy to grift this nice glow effect and that is by duplicating our curves layer. So let's select it, press command J and duplicate it. Now we want to rasterize it, the bottom one. So this is our, um, let's say, base glow. And this we want to rasterize. And now we have it as a pixel layer, as you can see right over here. And what we want to do is decide what color we want our glow to be. So with our pixel layer selected, go to your FX and select color overlay. And now you can pick your color. So um, yeah, now you won't really see it because it's at the bottom. So I will drag it to the top first and let's do a color overlay. And yeah, let's just pick any nice color. So I will probably go for some bright blue. This looks pretty cool to me. And what we want to do now is add a Gaussian blur. So we're going to blur this thing quite a bit. And this actually gives us a nice glow. So 16.5 pixels. Let's drag this one to the bottom. And you can see that we now got a nice glow. Now, if you want to increase our glow, what we can do is just duplicate this bottom layer, go into our effects, layer effects, I mean, and just increase the radius of our glow a bit more. And we can do that once again. So I'm going to press command J once again and increase the glow or the, the radius of our Gaussian blur even further. So this was the before and this is the after. And yeah, that is a nice start. Now to make this thing look even nicer, we're going to create a new pixel layer and I'm going to press B on the keyboard to select my brush tool. I want to select our nice, let's say bright blue color. So I'm just going to yeah, see if I can match the color a bit. This looks pretty good to me. And now we want to have a low flow. So I'm going to go for probably one or two percent. Let's go for two percent and let's say a 20 percent opacity. And now we want to brush back in the effect slightly just overall. So just to give this nice this thing a nice extra glow. Now I think I'm going too crazy a bit, but we'll fix this. Something like so. So this is the before and this is the after. Now I went a bit too crazy right here, so I'm gonna um, press E on the keyboard to select my um, eraser brush tool and just erase it just a little bit. And yeah, there we've got a nice overall glow. 
Now, next thing that we want to do is create another pixel layer. And now we want to add our glow to the clothing and to his face and that kind of stuff. So same thing with the low flow and the low opacity. What we want to do is simply brush the brush in the effect. By the way, for this one, we can actually change the blend mode to make it look a bit more interesting to lighter color or to color dodge. All right, so with our new pixel layer selected, we can just brush in some nice details to our clothes. So of course, this part is going to be brighter and this parts are going to be a bit brighter. Here it's going to be nice and bright. And this just accentuates, let's say, where the glow um, is casted on, let's say. So we can enhance the effect by just taking our time to brush in some nice extra glow. And you can see that I'm just brushing over the wrinkles of the clothes. And wherever there is a wrinkle, of course, that is where some extra light is going to be casted. So, um, yeah, that's where I want my glow line to be. All right, so let's see the before. This is the before and this is the after. And it starts to look pretty cool. Now, of course, this glow is not only being cast on um, the, the hoodie, but also on his face. So let's paint in some extra nice extra glow on him as well. Okay, that's a bit too strong in his face. So I'm going to grab my uh, eraser brush tool and just slightly brush out the effect something like so maybe in his neck there's a little bit too much as well so let's see before and after this does look pretty good now and this last thing to make this thing pop even more is uh, let's create a curves adjustment layer so i'm gonna press command m i'm gonna increase the bright areas and i'm gonna decrease the shadows a little bit and just give it a nice s curve to add some nice contrast to this image. All right, this last thing, this is really gonna finish the image and that is by adding particles. Now, adding particles is super, super easy. So we're gonna create a new pixel layer and we're gonna set the overlay, so the color overlay to whatever color we want the particles to be. So in our case, that is going to be blue. So I'm going to um, yeah, color pick this nice blue color right over here. And now here comes the magic. Um, yeah, I actually created a brush pack, which is the I am Renzi particle brush pack. And you can see there are tons and tons more brush packs, but let's go to the particle brushes. And what we want to do is just pick any of these particle brushes. So let's grab maybe this one, decrease the size a bit, click once here, click once here, grab another one and just figure out which ones to fit. So let's go for some nice and small particles, maybe some bigger particles like so. And now we are going to create an inverted layer mask. So I'm going to hold alt and click my mask icon. I'm going to go back to my basic brushes and get a soft round brush, set the flow to pretty low. So maybe, yeah, one or 2% as usual and brush in with white and just carefully brush in some particles around our subject. And that is really and how to make a glow image like this just stand out from the rest. So before and after. Now, of course, these brushes, they are available in my shop. So I will put a link down below in the description. You can find particle brushes, but also cloud brushes, nature brushes, night brushes, etc., etc. You can buy them separately or I've bundled them together at a huge discounts, which is the ultimate photo manipulation brush bundle. This is all the brushes that I ever created in one pack. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're curious how to make other things glow, then check out this video right over here. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.